Hello friends, this is Gökçe from CG Cave. Welcome to a new tutorial series. In this series, we are going to learn how to use Unity, how to create games with Unity. In this first lesson, I want to show you how to install Unity, the properties I choose and the version I chose. Let's just get into it. First thing I want you to do is to go to unity.com. Here you can choose download and click download for Windows. Let's choose a folder for this. Download is finished. You can just click on it here. Hit yes. I agree. I choose a default folder path for this and hit install. Uh, the first software we are installing is not Unity itself. It, this is Unity Hub. Uh, this is a small software where we can manage our uh, versions and projects uh, that we are creating with Unity. You can just click on run Unity Hub and hit finish here. Uh, you can see that I have a lot of projects here. These are the games I created with uh, Unity before. You should see an empty page. Uh, when you, If you go to installs, uh, you can see I have a couple of versions installed as well. We're not going to use one of these. We're going to go to install editor. And under official releases, you can see uh, this version here, 2022.3.19 F1. Uh, has long-term support and also the recommend, recommended version. If you want to follow along these lessons, I recommend you to install the same version with me. Hit install. Uh, in here, I want you to choose uh, Microsoft Visual Studio Community. Uh, this is the editor where we will uh, edit our scripts, write or create our scripts. Unity itself is not a script editor. To create scripts, edit scripts, we need a script editor and this will be useful for that. And then I will go uh, scroll down a little bit and I'll click on WebGL build support and also Windows build support. Uh, the reason for this is I'm thinking of creating three games uh, throughout these tutorial series. And we will build or export those games from Unity to work on Windows or on our browser. Uh, usually I create games for mobile devices. But for these three games, we are not going to do that. But at the end of this uh, series, I'm going to show you how to uh, get a build for mobile as well. Okay, let's hit continue. I agree, install. And here you can see that version we chose uh, is being installed. I'm going to pause the tutorial for now and see you when this is done. Because we asked the installer to install the Visual Studio community version as well. Uh, we need to choose one more uh, thing before we go on and we'll scroll down and under games you you'll find Unity uh, support and just click on it and hit install. Okay, we're done with the Visual Studio installation as well. Now you can see that we uh, have this version install completed and I can just hit uh, this one and you can see the version we installed here as well uh, under installs. Uh, we can now go to projects and uh, click on new project. The template we want to start with is the 3D URP template. So we'll click on that. If you haven't downloaded this template yet, you will see a button called download template. Click on that and it should take just a couple of seconds. And let's uh, create our first project. Let's name it my first project. Under here, you can just select a folder for this. And I'm just going to go to Unity Lessons and Installation. Or oh, maybe here uh, is a better spot, I guess. So let's create a new folder here. Call it Unity Projects. And select, uh, click on Select Folder. And then you, if you are uh, logged in uh, to Unity, you can just select that from here as well, your account. For now, I will just disable this Connect to Unity Cloud tick and I'm just going to create a new project. You can see that in the Unity Hub, we have this uh, new project called My First Project and it's launching Unity itself. As I said, uh, the software we installed before was Unity Hub and now we are launching Unity. The first time you launch your project, it should take a couple of minutes because it's compiling a lot of scripts, a lot of things Unity uses by default. So let's wait for this. Okay, after the loading of the project is finished, you should see Unity uh, launch like this. 
We are not going to go into the interface in Unity for the, in this lesson. That's for the next lesson. Uh, but one thing I want you to check is you go to Edit. Under Edit, you'll find Preferences here. You will find a tab called External Tools. Check here for the External Script Editor. I have Rider selected. I write my own projects in Rider, but Rider unfortunately doesn't have a community version, so I wanted you to install Visual Studio. So let's change this to Visual Studio. You should already have this selected, but I just want you to check it. Uh, if this is selected, then any scripts you want to open up in this project will be opened up with Visual Studio. Okay. So uh, this is it for the first lesson. See you in the next one. If you find this video useful, please like it, uh, subscribe to our channel, and also you can share it with your friends. Thanks for listening. See you in the next lesson.